Hello everyone, Dr. Van Merkel here, a developer and trainer for science-based nutrition members. And for you people out there, if you're looking for a nutritional expert, science-based nutrition, we do train doctors and we also support those doctors who maybe haven't had the advanced nutritional training that I have that I provide to my members. And some of these doctors are a little bit new, but they're still doing a good job because they have support and backup things going on in the background that you may not be aware of. But his doctor sent me a note. He's a chiropractor. His medical doctor told him basically that the patient shouldn't have gone to this uh, chiropractor or the chiropractor shouldn't even taken this patient on because the patient was type 1 diabetic. And the doctor said the patient will never be able to go off of insulin, which may very well be true, may, may very well be true. And during my training, I always tell doctors that before you do anything with a type 1 diabetic, you want to run some additional tests. One specifically is called the C-peptide. C is in Charlie, peptide, just like it sounds. When your body makes insulin and burns it, it leaves a little residue, a little ash called C-peptide. Your pancreas makes it. Injectable insulin that you inject doesn't leave any C-peptide. There is no C-peptide from insulin. So if when you do a test and the C-peptide is zero, your body is not making any zero insulin and you're going to need insulin the rest of your life. Now, maybe you'll need very little, very little. We have, uh, we've got patients who are down to like 10 uh, units of insulin a day, which is a very low dose, very good. And so it's not anything you can just stop all at once. But if you have any C peptide, any C peptide, and the range is, I believe, um, 0.4 to 1.4, if you have any, there's a possibility that you can get your body, that you can get the patient healthy enough where they will need less insulin and possibly even no insulin. Not very common because once you've been on the insulin more than a few months, basically your own pancreas has been burned out. If you get close to one, you're going to start on insulin. So uh, the range is, is very low. There might be some changes in different labs, but it's very low. Um, 0.1 or 0.4 to 1.4, something along that lines is very low. But if you are on insulin, if the pa your patient is insulin, it is unlikely you're going to be able to get off insulin. And our goal is not to get them off insulin. It's to get them healthier so they need less. Healthier so they need less. Now, we've had some amazing uh, results with some of our SBN members. Now, if you'll uh, remember, I've talked about one of our doctors who had a patient on over 250 units of insulin a day, which is extremely high, actually within weeks got this patient down to zero. Actually to zero insulin in, a, in just a few weeks. That's not common. I'm not trying to say you're going to get results like that. But obviously, and the doctor did test this, that the patient did not have a zero C-peptide. There is still some. And if there is any there is a possibility that that pancreas can be revived and they will need less and maybe zero insulin. So if you want some help uh, with those type of things, uh, with these type of things, type 1 diabetes, uh, you're welcome to contact us. Uh, my clinic here in Dayton, Ohio, Take Two Healthcare. Uh, we can help you in our area. And if, you're, uh, if you'd like to find an SBN member in your area, contact us at sciencebasednutrition.com. So there you are. I uh, hope this helps. We'd love to help you with health problems. I'm Dr. Merkel. Have a great day.